it's Jessica and today I have a Sephora haul for you guys. I have not done a Sephora haul in like a really really long time. I mean truly because I don't really know why. I feel like I've picked up a few things here and there but it's been a very long time since I've just gone to Sephora and bought a bunch of stuff and I have done just that and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because there's some things I hadn't heard about at all and then some of them are like cult classics that I've just been wanting to try for a really long time and I'm really excited to review for you guys um, just to see if they're really worth all the hype or not and hopefully a video on that will be coming up soon. So, I've got my classic Sephora bag, let's dig in. This is actually a combination of two different trips. One was like the main trip and then another one I'd done a few weeks ago I just bought like I think one, maybe two things online and then I also got like a 100 point perk and that was from a few weeks ago but most of this will be from just the other day. Okay, um, so the one from a few weeks ago, I'll go ahead and show you first. The first thing I bought was the Urban Decay B6 setting spray, or I guess, no, it's actually a prep spray. And this is basically just a pre-makeup spray, and supposedly it's got all kinds of vitamins in it, and it's really good for your complexion. I've tried it a few times. This is the smaller size, of course. It's a little more inexpensive. I've tried it a few times, and I don't know. It does seem to even out my complexion just a little bit, but I don't think it's anything like life-changing. And I don't know that I notice a difference when I use this before my makeup and when I don't. I don't know that I notice a difference, but I've only used it a few times, so I'm going to keep trying it, and we shall see what I think eventually. Okay, another thing I got on that trip was Buxom, the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. And this is just a really, really nice, neutral, kind of pale peach color. And what I love about the Buxom Lip Glosses is that they smell like mint and they feel tingly. If you don't like that tingly feeling, you will hate this. But if you don't mind it or you like it, you'll love these. And I really like that feeling just because it almost feels like it's a chapstick, but it's really glossy and pretty. So I think that's the best of both worlds, and I was really excited to finally own this. And this is one of those cult classic products, so. All right, and then the 100 point perk that I had gotten that day for spending this was a Buxom lip gloss in Dolly. And this one, of course, is half the size. It's like a smaller one. And this is a little bit more of a deeper color, but it's still pretty sheer when you apply it but it's a nice kind of light berry color, I would call it. I really like it. Ah, this is a cute little baby one. So on my main Sephora trip, the first thing I knew I wanted to pick up was the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I got it in the shade, let me look at the box here, Fair Light Honey, which says it's for fair to light skin with peach undertones. I'm wearing it today and it matches my skin flawlessly. And this one, I love the packaging because it's got this cute little wooden handle. And, you know, I don't love that it's a squeezy tube, but I would prefer that over just an open-mouthed bottle. So I'd prefer that. Of course, pump is ideal. But regardless, this is a very, very thick consistency. I applied it with a Sigma brush, any of them, uh, and it seems to blend out really, really nicely. I ended up putting a really light layer on and then wanting a second layer. So it's certainly full coverage if you want it to be, but you can apply it in a lighter way and just blend it out more if you really wanted that. But I like it. Um, I was really excited to finally try it because again, this is one that has been really, really hyped up. I need to try it a few more times to really decide, but it kind of has a satin finish. It doesn't, it's not completely mattified. I use the MAC Fix Plus over it though at the very end, so I don't know if that's why it looks a little dewier or um, what, but I'm going to try it the other way too and see, but I really like it. Okay, another Tarte product that I picked up was the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, and this I got in the shade Fairly Light Neutral. And it is, it is light, but that's what I'd prefer, and I'm wearing it today. I applied it with a brush, but I think I want to try it with a few different ways because I didn't love the way it applied, but it does have really, really good coverage, and it certainly is brightening. However, I will say I did notice creasing right here and here, like within minutes of applying it. And I had set it with the powder and everything, so I thought that was interesting because creaseless is in the title. But again, this was, I've used it once, so we'll see as I continue to use it how it wears with my skin, and maybe it's just my skin, but it did crease, so I thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> okay, another product that I got, and this is one I hadn't heard anyone talk about. This is the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow 8.0, and it is in the, the palette is in the shade Power Neutrals. And it's 8.0 because there are eight um, shadows in it. And this is just chock full of beautiful, beautiful neutral shadows. It's got this nice like olive green there, a few shimmers, but mostly all of them are matte. And you can do almost any look with this, at least any neutral look. And I love how sleek and thin the packaging is. It's got kind of that 
The way the NARS packaging feels, it's kind of mattified and like soft and gets dirty really easily. Um, that type of packaging, which I really like, and it's got the shade names on the back too, which I also like. So I was really excited about this one, and I haven't, I've never bought any Bare Minerals eyeshadows at all, so this is kind of my first go around, and I'm wearing it today. I didn't do anything crazy, which you guys know me, but I really like it so far, and it's gonna be so perfect for traveling. Another product I got was what I'm wearing on my lips today, which is the classic, classic, NARS Lip Gloss in Turkish Delight. It's just this light baby pink, very, very neutral, but I don't think it's too much. You don't look like completely washed out, but you it's like borderline, which I kind of think is fun. And this is, of course, the one that like Kim Kardashian made famous a couple years ago when she, when that was like all she'd wear for a while. Anyway, I was excited to finally try it. I don't think there's anything revolutionary about the quality or the formula of this lip gloss, but I do really like the shade. I want to look and see if I can find a drugstore dupe. I'm sure there are a million out there. I would just Google search and I'd find them. But I kind of want to try and find one myself um, for this because since the formula is not anything revolutionary, I don't think you necessarily need to spend all the money to get the NARS brand. Anyway, these are all like mini reviews in here. And the last thing I got in this haul was the Benefit Coralista blush. And I don't own any Benefit blushes. I own the um, Hula bronzer, but I don't own any of their blushes. This is just an absolutely beautiful coral shade of blush. Very, very pigmented, can be powdery. I mean, once you blend it in, it doesn't look powdery, but it does kick up a decent amount of powder. So it's something to just be aware of, but I think the packaging's adorable, it smells nice, and I mean, it lasts all day. And I, I've worn it twice now, and I'm wearing it today too, kind of blend it out. Um, it really lasts all day, it's crazy. It really is. <laughs> And it smells good. Mmm. I just love it. I'm so excited to have finally. I just ordered um, the Sugar Bomb one too because I swatched it in Sephora and I was like, ooh, I need that. I need that now. So, I was contacted by Ebates because I, as you guys very well know, love Ebates and I talk about them all the time and I've never been, well, and I'm still not affiliated with them. I just have like a referral code which anyone can get as long as you have just a free Ebates account. So I've always had a referral code, but I've never been affiliated, never been contacted by them or anything. So I was contacted by them because I'd been referring a lot of you guys to there and they you know, kind of found out and said, hey, do you wanna do a giveaway on your channel? We'll give you a $50 gift card to give away. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that, duh. So the reason they wanted to kind of work with me was because right now they're having a Sephora 8% cash back on Ebates. I'm just now realizing I haven't told you what Ebates is all about. Ebates is basically just you get cash back when you shop online and the only thing you have to do is once you've created your free Ebates account, you just have to remember, and this is the hardest part for me, you have to remember to go to Ebates first, then search for whatever store you're wanting to buy from, Sephora, Amazon, Ulta, whatever it is, Walmart, and um, click on the link on Ebates. Once it takes you there, it will track what you buy and then you'll get cash back um, and it pays out. I don't know how often it, they pay out. I feel like it's like once every three months or something like that, but it adds up really quickly, especially if you're like me, like I buy stuff from Amazon and Sephora and Ulta and all kinds of stores all the time online because I'm, I just feel like I'm so busy during the week and even on the weekends that if there's something I need, I'll just order it on Amazon or order it from Sephora and just wait for it to come instead of spending time going to the store. That sounds very lazy, but I'm just being honest with you guys. <laughs> anyway, so because they're having this 8% cash back at Sephora, which is higher than it usually is, they figured it'd be nice for me to feature it, let you know, get their name out there, but also you guys know that I love Ebates, so I was excited to feature it. So, the $50 Sephora gift card that they are letting me give away to you guys, the um, information on how to enter will be below. It will be really easy. I do know though that you have to be an Ebates member if you win. So, um, you know, if you were to win the giveaway, they have to double check that you're an Ebates winner or an Ebates member and then you can get the $50 gift certificate to Sephora, which, oh my gosh, $50, you could get the Naked palette for free, you could get, you know, two of the things I got or a few, you know, ooh, I love Sephora and I love gift cards, it's so exciting. Anyway, so I'm excited for you guys to enter, good luck, I'll put all the info below, it'll be really easy to enter, I promise. And I will catch you guys very, very soon, bye. Hold on. Uh, mm, itchy nose. I'm not making any sense. None of that was grammatically correct. Got it in the second shade up. I just dropped it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.